Bitcoin, the largest cryptocurrency by market cap, is once again making headlines. It had been gradually increasing in value throughout 2023, and in December, it shot up by more than 160% for the year. In this video, we'll talk about why Bitcoin is a good choice for investors. It has been consistently growing, has a reliable track record, it's easy to buy and sell, and has a low risk for losing value due to inflation. The data shows that the number of people using Bitcoin increased by 44% in just one year, and there are now 100 million Bitcoin wallets with value. Bitcoin keeps breaking its own record for highest value and is seen as a good way to protect your money from losing value because there's a limited amount of it. It's also easy for anyone, no matter their experience, to trade. We'll go over all the reasons why Bitcoin is a smart investment, especially for those wanting to diversify their investments and guard against inflation. Welcome back to Finance Homefront. I'm Bev. And today, we're talking about why Bitcoin might be the best investment of the decade. Before we continue, it's important to mention that the content you're about to see is for informational purposes only. We're not financial advisors, and this video should not be considered financial advice. Cryptocurrency trading, especially with Bitcoin, involves risks, and your investment decisions should be based on your own research or consultation with a qualified financial professional. Always do your due diligence and carefully consider your financial situation before making any investment moves. More and more investors are getting into Bitcoin, a unique financial tool that has changed the world a lot. Here are some of the many good things about Bitcoin. The number of people using Bitcoin went up from 45 million in January 2020 to 65 million in January 2021, a 44% increase in just a year. Right now, there are about 100 million Bitcoin wallets with money in them, and a million people use Bitcoin every day. If you put $1 into Bitcoin at the beginning of the decade, it would be worth more than $90,000 now, according to Bank of America Securities. Bitcoin keeps beating its highest value, bouncing back after it drops in price or has other problems. You can easily trade it for cash or other things like gold and it happens right away with really low fees. This makes Bitcoin a good choice for people wanting to make a quick profit or thinking about a long-term investment, because a lot of people want it. Unlike regular money that's controlled by governments, Bitcoin doesn't get messed up by inflation. Actually, it's seen as a way to protect against inflation because there's only a limited amount of it that doesn't change with its price. Trading Bitcoin is easy and simple unlike trading stocks. So you just buy or sell Bitcoin on exchange platforms and keep it in your digital wallet. No need for a special certificate or license or a broker. Hey there, hope you're enjoying the insight so far. If you're finding this information valuable, consider giving us a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that notification bell. Your support helps us keep these informative videos coming your way. Now, let's dive back into why Bitcoin is a good investment. Owning Bitcoin differs significantly from owning stock in a company. Unlike businesses that generate income through product or service sales and issue dividends, Bitcoin doesn't operate this way. It lacks a CEO, board of directors, or any centralized group responsible for setting goals or being held accountable. In June 2022, SEC Chair Gary Gensler noted on CNBC that some cryptocurrencies share characteristics with securities, but others, notably Bitcoin, are considered commodities. Commodities such as metals, grains, and milk are overseen by the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, the government agency actively involved in cryptocurrency regulation along with foreign currency trading. On another note, some argue that Bitcoin functions as a currency, usable for purchasing goods and services. While there are businesses accepting Bitcoin, it hasn't become a widespread practice. Alternatively, there's the notion that Bitcoin might represent a completely new asset class. Bitcoin is a great investment because it keeps getting more users, always goes past its highest value and helps protect against inflation. It's easy to trade and works for both quick profits and long-term plans. Bitcoin stirs up strong opinions. 
Fidelity, a major asset manager in the U.S., has embraced cryptocurrency. In 2023, they launched Fidelity Crypto, allowing clients to trade Bitcoin and Ethereum. Fidelity also gained approval from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission for a spot Bitcoin ETF. In a report from October 2023, Fidelity researchers praised Bitcoin as fundamentally different than any other digital asset, asserting that it is the most secure, decentralized, and sound form of digital money. Michael Novogratz, with an impressive background at Fortress Investment Group and Goldman Sachs, is the founder and CEO of crypto investment firm Digital Galaxy. He's a staunch supporter of Bitcoin and, as of December 2023, expressed optimism about its future, predicting a return to previous highs. Novogratz even correctly anticipated the SEC's approval of a spot Bitcoin ETF, highlighting positive developments for Bitcoin. Following the introduction of the first Bitcoin ETFs, the Bitcoin market experienced a sell-off. Investors rushed to secure profits generated by the sustained excitement surrounding the launch of these new investment products. Despite the decline in Bitcoin's price, there's been significant demand for spot Bitcoin ETFs, making BTC the second largest ETF commodity in the United States, just behind gold and ahead of silver. According to a recent report from CoinShares, cryptocurrency investment products had a trading volume of $11.8 billion in the last week. In the United States, newly launched spot Bitcoin ETFs attracted $4.13 billion in inflows since their launch, as highlighted in the report. Investors shifted their funds away from high-fee products, with Grayscale's GBT experiencing substantial outflows of $2.2 billion. Fidelity and BlackRock's ETFs, on the other hand, benefited greatly receiving $1.3 billion and $1.4 billion in inflows, respectively. Now that spot Bitcoin ETFs are approved in the United States, the next significant development for Bitcoin is the upcoming Bitcoin halving. Current estimates suggest that the next halving will occur either in late April or early May. Bitcoin has grown a lot and remains the most valuable cryptocurrency, but it hasn't been a smooth ride. Imagine buying Bitcoin for just 10 cents in 2010. That would have been fantastic. However, it's not all sunshine. Bitcoin's value has gone down significantly at times. If you bought it in 2013, your investment would have dropped by 80%, and it took three years to recover. There was another decline in 2018 that lasted about a year, and in 2021 and 2022, there were times when its value dropped by 50% or more. Even in 2023, Despite a good run, if you bought Bitcoin in 2021 when it was at its highest, you might still be facing losses. Investing in Bitcoin can bring good returns, but you need to be ready for big drops too. Bitcoin has bounced back before, but there's also a chance it could go down to zero, especially if some crypto platforms fail and everyone starts selling off their Bitcoin. So it's a bit of a roller coaster and investors should be aware of the ups and downs. What do you think sets Bitcoin apart as a potential game changer for investments in this decade? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you're enjoying the financial insights on finance homefront, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell. Your active participation fuels the growth of finance homefront. By engaging with us, you're not just staying informed, you're also helping our channel gain visibility and reach more people interested in finance.